major league curveball can curve or break as much as 17 and a half inches from a straight line by the time it crosses the plate. The curving starts just before the ball crosses the strike zone. This means the hitter must start the swing before the pitch is curved very much, and he is swinging at where he hopes the pitch will be. No wonder the curve is such a difficult pitch to hit. To throw the curve, the pitcher chokes the ball down between the thumb and forefinger parallel to the seams. When the pitcher releases the ball, he snaps his wrist down to impart a top or side spin. What exactly makes a curved ball curve? The three main forces that act on the ball and cause its curve are gravity, drag, and the Magnus force. Gravity is the force of the earth that attracts all bodies toward its center. Gravity causes the ball to drop as it approaches the plate. Drag is caused by the resistance of the air, a fluid, as the ball moves through it. The spin of the ball changes how the ball interacts with the air. When the ball spins, the stitching gathers air during each rotation. The stitching on the side of the ball spinning in the direction of travel toward the plate gathers more air than the stitching on the side of the ball spinning away from the plate. The side of the ball that gathers more air is at a slightly higher pressure than the side that gathers less air. This pressure difference causes the ball to move in the direction of the lower pressure side. This is called the Magnus force and is what causes the ball to curve. So the next time you see a pitcher throw a wicked curve, it's not luck, it's ballpark science.